Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Mrs. Miller, good morning. How have you been Hi. doing on your plaque control program? Oh, Ms. Schwent, you know we've been at this for about six months, and I've been going through all of the actions. About, just about a week ago, I had some kind of revelation, and I be really began to realize how right you were and how everything made sense and how reasonable it was. And I realized that while I was giving lip service to it, I, w I wasn't really carrying it through. So I decided to put my mind to it and really determined to get this thing under control. And for five days, I've done it completely every time. And I'm feeling very good about it. You, you know, you really do have a lot of tobacco stain, don't you? Um, you know, if you gave up smoking, we could polish that all off and those teeth would be perfectly white. And then, you know, you might enjoy going to Weight Watchers with me on Thursday evenings. Um, if you lost, lost a few pounds, why, you could be a rather attractive woman. Well, Mrs. Miller, <clears throat> I finished. Um, maybe I better tell you something about <clears throat> our office procedures. Um, I'm a hygienist, and I've just finished doing your oral inspection, and I've checked all the conditions that are present, and then I'm going to clean your teeth. And after I've done all of those things, then doctor will come in and examine and kind of try to get an idea. Um, before that happens, I, I am just really amazed at your mouth. You have periodontal disease. What's that? Well, maybe you've heard of it called pyrrhea. Um, have you ever had parents or grandparents that have lost their teeth and had to have dentures because of pyrrhea? Well, um, <clears throat> they, um, they, they had dentures. I, I don't know what it was, pyrrhea. Oh. Um, well, this is a disease where um, the bacteria that live in your mouth colonize on your teeth. And um, when they colonize, they give off a waste product as part of their normal metabolic response, just, just part of their normal functioning. And this waste product is a poison to your gums. And your gums get infected, and they swell up, and the collagen fibers break down. And then, then the infection goes into your bone, and you lose the bone support around your teeth, and the teeth become mobile, and eventually they fall out. And this is what you have. About how long does that take? Uh, well, it, it uh, you know, like it, I, I can't promise you that, you're, that you, you'll save your teeth for any length of time at all. It could be tomorrow or it could be a year from now. Um, we just don't know. It's a very progressive chronic thing and you've had this condition for some time. I, I need to go get the doctor. Yes, I think you better see him. Excuse me, but I'm awfully anxious to know how you think I'm doing. You really are doing well. I, I just, I'm so glad you asked about that. Would you like to talk about it a while? Yeah, I want to know what you think. Yeah, oh, remember when we were talking before about how your, your gums were swollen and puffy? Well, now they've shrunk down like we want them to around the teeth, and and the bacteria can't get down into those into the crevices around your teeth anymore. It's just it's just wonderful. And you know this area up in here, mm -hmm. the one that was so bad where you had those roots exposed, mm -hmm. that is really looking good. Can you get your toothpick in there now? Can you get that in and clean it? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that looks very nice. What about what were some of the other areas that we were having problems with? Well, there was uh, that one uh, down below on the right. Yeah, okay, but, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, that one is almost healed, almost, not quite. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's looking a lot better. I, I really have to compliment you. You've just done a wonderful job. Uh, 
Is there a ladies room I could use? Well, yeah, I, I thought you wanted to talk about this. I'm sorry. Mr. Rukamats, how long has it been since you've been on a control program now? I don't know. It's been quite a while. Well, here, I can year? check. I can check the record. I think it's over a year. Yeah, this is your third visit. It's been a year and a half. It really mm -hmm. has. Yeah, you've done a nice job. I, I see now that you are backsliding a little bit. There are a few areas that are beginning to get a little periodontal involvement again. What? What do you mean? Yeah, in between your teeth. Um, I can see that you're beginning. Remember when you first started out how much inflammation, how much swelling you had in your gum tissues? Mm -hmm. Well, I can see that some of this is beginning to come back. Well, this comes as a surprise to me. Well, I'm sure it I've, does. I've uh, continued. Oh, I'm sure you have. I just think I haven't that, changed anything. Well, now we need to reassess it, and perhaps I can help you. Um, Maybe you just aren't pressing as hard as you used to. Um, how, what about your schedule? Well, how, do, how do you know? Well, I can tell because there's some swelling in your gums. Here, take a look. Um, look in your mouth and look in between your teeth. Now, see how this little projection in between your teeth is swollen? It's kind of bluish, cyanotic. Compared with what? Well, with what, the way it used to be. Let me see if I can find one. Well, I can't find one that's really in a super healthy condition so that I can show you what a good healthy one looks like. Um, but I don't, it's, I don't believe this. It's in between your no, teeth. I have been doing uh, the same thing. Uh, now, you, you say it's a year and a half. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, when I've been in before, you, you said everything was ideal. Now, I haven't changed anything. Well, this is really the first and, time that... Uh, the plaque, uh, control score with a disclosing solution reveals no plaque when I check myself and I do that rather regularly. Yeah, but can you see in between your teeth? This is in between your teeth. And the, and the disclosing solution doesn't go in between your teeth, does it, very well? Well, I, I floss and uh, I, I've, uh, I continue to use the same technique. Well, sometimes the flossing just isn't as hard. Remember we talked about how the, the plaque um, is sticky and it really takes some abrasion to get it off your teeth. Mm -hmm. And you, you really have to rub. Here, let me show you what I mean. Um, I can show you, you know, the, the gums are swollen and they may bleed a little bit, when, and that's an no, indication. No, no bleeding. That's an indication mm -hmm. that the gums no. are inflamed. Let mm -hmm. me show you in your mouth here. <clears throat> now you'll have to watch in the mirror. Watch me do this. Okay. Now, see, you really need to rub hard. Now, now, see how there's a little bit of seepage coming out? There's a little fine bit of bleeding there. Well, you, you will cut me with that. Well, and uh, uh, I didn't mean to. Have you been rubbing that Wasn't that, that part of the instructional objective that uh, no gingival damage be done? Well, yes, it was. You're right. But I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to show you how hard you need to rub. And I really don't think that I cut you, but... but your capillaries just burst. The, the gums just burst because, well, you try. I think you're imagining things. Mrs. Miller, now, you're on our plaque control program. You know, that's the program where you remove the plaque from your teeth once every 24 hours. Yeah. How's that going for you? Oh, I do that religiously. Do you? Yeah, I, I, uh, I remove it. Uh, once every 10 or 12 hours, actually. Okay, um, let's kind of disclose and see how you're doing then. Okay. Um, now, there is, uh, open please. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There is um, quite a bit of plaque, Mrs. Miller. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I brushed and flossed thoroughly after breakfast this morning, but I didn't have a chance to after lunch. Oh, well, you see now, <clears throat> This is a different kind of disclosing solution that I've used. You've never had this before. And this disclosing solution, it stains the immature plaque, the plaque that's not 24 hours old, one color, and, and that's red. And it stains the mature plaque, that which is 24 hours old or more old. It stains that blue. And you see, your mouth is just loaded with blue. 
You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.